It's the weekly show about pro AV with the hottest news in the AV industry. It's Rave TV. Give it up for Steph and Gary. Steph and Gary. Nice hat, Steph. Hey, this is Gary K and Steph you. Beckett. We are here doing Rave TV live. <laughs> Our weekly live TV, the industry's only weekly live TV show now on our second year. Um, and yes. uh, we're doing this live. I am here at the Rave uh, headquarters in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Steph is live am, with the craziest looking hat. Where are you, Steph? I am somewhere in Georgia. Unclear somewhere where. Georgia. Um, yes. We are road tripping back up from St. Augustine, Florida. Okay. Um, and I am in the car with all my girlfriends and we're, <laughs> we're just, I'm joining from the car. So as you can see, we stopped at, uh, the Bucky's gas station. That's what all the bags are behind me and the hat that's on my head. Gary, have you ever been in a Bucky's? Uh, I don't know. I maybe I you, have, I'm not you sure. would know, you okay. would know if you had, and you would love it, Gary. Like that, like I, this is like more than a gas station. It's like a way of life. It's oh, really? like sheets, but better because they have like Bucky's clothes. They have the best snacks. They have a wall of jerky, <laughs> like everything that you could ever want. Like I could probably survive by living there for like, you know, the rest of my life or something. So it's a, it's a lovely place. <laughs> well, today, today is a special day because we are going to live release the Infocom 2022 rave Best of Infocom Awards. Um, our awards is special because there's no entry fee. In fact, there's no way to nope. enter these. Uh, these are literally picked by, we sent videographers, as Steph knows, we sent videographers. Yes. You know, actually, I should back up one. This is Rave TV, our live TV show. We're coming to you live on ravepubs.com. Uh, we're coming to you live on uh, LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook. And uh, we do this live every week. We want to thank you for joining us. We want you to continue to join us. But today is a big day because everyone waits for what awards we release and we send videographers to every, we're, nobody, raise your hand if you went to every single booth on the show floor because the only people who can raise their hand are us because uh, yeah, we went to every we booth on the show floor. We actually shot videos of every new product on the show floor. Then our editors come back and watch all these videos and pick the best of the best. So you're going to see, I don't even know how many awards it is. But it, you're going to see our awards released on our website at raypubs.com slash Infocom 2022. Let's pop that up there real quick uh, so you can see what our uh, Infocom yes. microsite looks like. This is our Infocom microsite popping up on the screen here in a matter of uh, seconds right there. There you go. Infocom microsite. Uh, on that microsite, you can see all the coverage from Infocom 2022. That includes all of our product videos. We shot over 1,100 product videos. That, I mean, we went to every booth. We went to all 700 booths. Yeah. We shot product videos at every single booth. They're all here, all of our news stories, all of our podcasts, all of our video casts, all the new product news stories, and all the videos are all at raypubs.com slash Infocom 2022. And, of course, today, whatever today is, today's the 29th, we released our yes. Best of Infocom Awards Everyone waits every year for the Best of Infocom Awards, and we're excited to be bringing those to you uh, today. We're going to talk about, we're going to go through and release the product awards to you, and we're going to talk about them live here on Rave TV. But first, as they always do, I used to hate this <laughs> when I was a kid. We're going to play your favorite song next, but first, we have a commercial from one of our sponsors. So let's roll that commercial, Madeline. Take a look. Yes. Sure, yeah, we're going to go add from Shore here. One of the videos we shot at the show. Hi, it's Chris Lyons at Shure, and we're here at Infocom 2022 talking about the STEM ecosystem of conferencing audio products. Now, the STEM ecosystem provides a very quick and easy solution for rooms that don't require a complex audio installation. All of the products interoperate seamlessly together, whether you need ceiling microphones, wall microphones, table microphones, and even integrated network loudspeakers. Plus, the STEM ecosystem includes this interesting online room designer tool that lets you easily configure STEM audio products and confirm in advance how many products you're gonna to need to cover your room. So there's no uncertainty, no guessing how you're gonna to need to cover the room. 
One recent development with the STEM ecosystem is that the STEM wall and STEM table microphones are now certified for use with Barco ClickShare. So if you've got a room that's equipped for BYOD where people bring their own laptop into the room and they just plug in the Barco ClickShare dongle or use the Barco app, now the STEM ecosystem is ready to go as a plug and play solution. So that's the new STEM ecosystem from Shure, and you can learn more at www.shure.com. All right. Uh, so uh, that's one of the, that's one, that product won an award. We're going to tell you what award it won uh, okay. in, just, in just a bit. But first, I want to hear from Steph. Steph, um, yes. you know, we had a great time at Infocom. There's been a bit, a lot of rumors of being a, a COVID spreader, but let me give you some data, yeah. okay? Because we had about 25 people at Infocom, including yeah. our photographers and everybody. I think 27, if you count up everyone in the, photo the ones that mm -hmm. did photography and videography with us. And two people came back with COVID. That's a rate of 8%. Yeah. Um, so I, I think the rumors of uh, COVID spread are highly exaggerated. And here's why I think that, because we went to every booth. It's not like we just sat around in a room or stayed in our own booth. Yeah. We went to every yeah. booth. So if anyone was going to spread COVID, it would have been us. And we only had two people that came yes. back with COVID. Steph, what well, do you think? Well, a lot of the people who got COVID at the show were people who, like, all hang out with each other. So, I mean, you know, it was, like, a lot of the, the same people who, like, talk to each other at a, every trade show anyway. Um, so, you know, that's just how diseases spread, you know, <laughs> and like, this is just kind of going to be the reality where like, you know, if you go to a big event, a few people are going to get it and you just have to decide like whether or not for you, that's worth it. And like, you know, whether or not you feel comfortable with that, whether or not you want to go and wear a mask, it's all about just kind of making that personal decision for you and what feels best and what risks you're willing to take, you know? Um, yeah. we were lucky. Yeah. Only two people from our office got it and they found out early and made the best decisions they could for themselves. So I just think that is the reality of living in the world today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's my, I, that's my PR like, answer. Yeah. And I'm also <laughs> happy that the, the people that got it, it's not too bad. You know, they yes. certainly weren't hospitalized. Uh, they, they isolated, uh, and they were able to still and work because they, they didn't feel too bad. Yeah. yeah. So, so to, 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 uh, let's, let's, without further ado, we broke the wards into categories. Obviously we have digital signage, we have UCC, we have pro AV, we have projection, we have, uh, accessory products, things like that. Let's, so let's start with the, uh, let's start with the overall awards first, the very yes. first, the best overall product of Infocom 2022. You don't need to show that, Madeline. You want to show the actual graphic there that looks a lot better than my screen there. The best overall product for Infocom 2022 was LG with the Clio, uh, Chloe, sorry, Chloe uh, yes. Smart Robots. Chloe. Those were amazing, were they not? They were great. <laughs> they were great. And we have a video to kind of, I'm gonna, we're going to talk over this as you see it. I'm going to play this video and we can talk over it as you see it here. There's the robot. There's two versions of it. They're hospitality robots. Uh, one has trays, one does not. So this thing in hospitality, uh, imagine it delivering food to your room in a hospital or in a hotel. Uh, imagine it, um, they have a version of it without the shelves that could be a concierge. It could be a person that shows you to your room. It could be a person that shows you a tour of the hotel. Um, yeah. The point of this is there's an opportunity for AV integrators to get into a new market. And I was really impressed with what LG had here. Uh, Steph, did you have a chance to see them? I did. I did. I didn't get to spend a lot of time over there, uh, but I did see like Chloe always had a like row of people around because people were so interested in it. But it's very cool. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. I was really impressed with that. And a lot. Yeah. Like you said, like a lot of potential use cases could be like a help desk solution, could be a concierge, uh, could help you wayfind. Like, you know, you could go up and ask it directions. Like there are so many yep. use cases and I think it's really neat. Yep. And Congratulations to LG for that. Uh, the best overall new video product of Infocom 2022, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, is the Planar Complete, uh, the UC Very Complete, mm -hmm. uh, to be more exact. And actually, we shot a video of that. I want to show this as we're uh, talking about it. This is a 21 by 9, great, great work there, Madeline. 21 by 9 uh, uh, display, uh, LED mm -hmm. based. Uh, it already, it, it's, it's a great, I mean, it, best all of overall video product, new video product. Um, you can yeah. see that it uh, is custom built kind of for uh, Microsoft Teams uh, front row. 
Um, everyone was impressed with that product. And there were a number of companies that had 21 by nine. This was a hard one to pick because Epson had a great demo of 21 by nine using existing projectors. A number of different brands had demos of uh, 21 by nine uh, products out there, but this one was the most complete uh, 21 by product. And therefore that's why they called it complete. Pretty that's smart. Yeah. Huh? 21 by nine is the future. I think that we are, that's not going to be a trend. It's going to be something that like we will continue to see more and more of. Yep. And, so. uh, so the next few awards I'm going to pop through. We don't have any videos to show you, but you can go to our website to watch the videos anytime you want. Uh, the best overall audio product for Infocom 2022 was, drumroll, 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 the Biamp Parlay ABC 2500 conference bar. Great product. Next best overall AI solution, a new category that we added last year. And then again, this year, AI solution, best overall Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, Sharp NEC Navisense. Uh, we have some great videos yeah. online of that. Um, you should check that out. That is a great analytics platform that should be added into any digital signage or UCC. It's for digital signage and UCC applications. Best overall wireless product. Uh, the ClickShares won this a bunch of years in a row. This year it goes to, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, Sennheiser. Sennheiser for the EWDX microphone, wireless microphone system uh it's sort of like they have a good better best this is sort of like the better in their ew series uh yeah. dx wireless microphone system products next uh product uh best uh so most creative new projection product drum roll drum roll drum roll digital projection satellite laser projector um so so steph this one because and and you know there's a lot of great projectors out there and we, you'll right. see a bunch of them get awards. You're going to talk about those in the next category. Yep. But the, this is a module that just has the lensing in it, and the light engine is sent by fiber optics, and it is separate. So you have two separate pieces. You can put the light engine in a rack along with the video processing, and, the, uh, and then basically the optics are a separate projector. So it's a very small projector. It can go up to 20,000 ans lumens on 120 volts, um, and uh, it's, a, it's two separate pieces. Best booth at Infocom 2022. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. This was a hard one because we, as a group, we narrowed it down to Sony and Epson, but we gave it to, to Epson because they won by one vote. Um, right. uh, so Sony had a phenomenal booth. Epson had the what became uh, the best booth for Infocom 2022. Yes, Next product, I can see have, why. Go ahead, Steph. I said I could see why that they both of them were fantastic, and I had a great time in each one. But yep. yes, Epson's was absolutely gorgeous. You can tell they spent a lot of time designing it. So they did well, they did. well deserved. Yep. Best overall uh, uh, demo at Infocom 2022. I want you to go watch it. Um, it's Wirestorm C Lock uh, demo showing uh, wider waterproof AV over IP products. Uh, so check this out. You can kind of watch their demo there. They had a fish tank. In their oh, booth, yeah. and I they're think showing. I helped, pick, you know, I helped pick that, I think. <laughs> yeah, and you, th yeah, you did, and and uh, you know, you think, why the hell would you need an AV over IP product to be waterproof? But ultimately, you know, we do have menu boards sitting outside. We do have applications for outdoor uh, products, and uh, this thing's inside of a fish tank, and they're pouring water all over it uh, to show that it's waterproof. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really creative. That's a good, you know, it's a good demo. I like it. Yeah. Good demo. Okay. So back to the award category here, uh, best overall new technology at the show was Intupix Tyco XS FIP Kodak. So what they were basically showing there is the ability to up the game with JPEG 2000 and its ability to show not just 4K, but 8K uh, across uh, the, uh, the, the network. Uh, so that's, um, that's obviously uh, going to be big potentially in the future, but it was a, you know, it, everyone was talking about it. I mean, it, so therefore, you know, we had to give it best overall technology. Um, most ubiquitous technology, most thing talked about the most, the thing we heard the most, the mm -hmm. word, the brand we heard the most in all videos. We went to different booths yep. and people would say different brands. App Space appeared multiple times when we shot videos. I'm going to guess yes. at least 20 videos we have online have mm -hmm. App Space in them. And we weren't in the App Space booth when they were talking about it. So yep. that got me most ubiquitous. Now, um, Steph, the product you probably didn't see at Infocom, the award for the best Infocom 2022 product you probably missed goes to Leon Speakers and Liquid View with the Window uh, LV, which is basically oh, a window so cool. you put in your house. 
Check it yeah. out. Here's a video of it running here. This is a display that you put in a room that has no windows, like my office in my house. My home yes. office has no windows, believe it or not. So you're getting one of these. Is I what I'm definitely hearing. want one of these. I'm going to call yeah. their PR person, Katie Bennett, and say, hey, I would really like a, like one of these things. But yes. look, uh, ultimately, this is a great product. Um, it's very cool. You know, Leon speakers, you love Leon because they make really good looking uh, aesthetic audio products. But this is a video yes, product. They first video product. And it's gorgeous as well. So they're they're a great company that likes things to look as pretty as they, you know, do their job. So I definitely respect that. All right. So so let's um, head on to the next categories. We don't have little graphics for that. So I'm going to we're going to do some screen sharing on these real quick. Um, so uh, the Same next category, uh, I don't know if you don't mind putting it on my screen. Next category is displays and projection. Um, uh, if you can, uh, there you go. There we just popped up. I don't know if you can read that or not, Steph, but best, um, new led wall product is the planar, uh, 0. 0.625 millimeter. That mm -hmm. product, I'll tell you, that's the pixel that pitch. A, that is a direct narrow view LCD. pitch. Boy, so if, yeah. if you converted direct view LCD into led, it would be about 0. 0.625 millimeter. So they have an led that's 625 millimeter best, best new led system product was the Barco True Picks, and I have a video of that, so I'm going to play that for you. That is an LED okay. product. Think of this as the unice of LED. They built an entire mount platform system specifically for their LED, so the, it's all modular. It only fits together one way. It's designed to correct for any anomalies that might be in a wall or in a, uh, in a building that you might install it. And it all goes together sort of like Legos of LED. You can see how simple it is to use. Again, the best way to describe this is sort of like the Legos of, L of LED or the, uh, the Unice of LED. Um, so that got the best new LED uh, system product. Best new micro LED solution was the Sony C series. That's their contrast version of the micro LED. So they have the B series brightness, C series right. for contrast. Best modular LED wall product um, goes to the Taylor LEDs W.9 chip on board DV LED modules. This was kind of cool because they yeah. fit together really nicely um, the way that they design them. And it's great for rental and uh, staging applications uh, because you kind of you stack the LEDs and they identify where they are located. They're all 16 by 9 panels. Um, so you, if you put four of these panels together, it makes one 55 inch monitor stuff. So put four of these 16 by nines, you get the equivalent of one 55 inch monitor without any bezel. So if you put uh, 16 of these together, then you get the same as a two by two 55 inch video wall modular system. Best 4k LCD display was LG's 110 inch 4k display. Best 8K was Sharp's any Sharp NEC 120 inch 8K display yes. in their booth. Think about that 120 inch staff, 120 yeah. inch TV that's 8K, one box. One Could you box. get that in your yeah. door? Could you get that in your door? No, staff? absolutely not in the studio. So if they deliver one to you, send no. it to my house. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, best rental staging projector, Christy Griffin 4K 50, which is 50,000 ants lumens RGB laser. Best new large venue projector, Epson EB PU2220. Called that mm -hmm. because it's 20,000 ants. Smallest, by the way, also the smallest 20,000 ants lumens all in one projector. Best short throw projector out there was the Fujifilm FP Z6000. Um, you know, that's a company that you don't see very often mentioned. And uh, I was impressed. Yeah. Uh, and it did win the hearts and minds of our team. Um, and then best meeting room projector, the Sony VHL VHZ series. So they have a whole series of meeting room projectors from small ones to large ones. Um, that series of projectors won best meeting room series. All right, on to the next category, digital signage. Best digital signage display, the Sharp NEC uh, V754Q 4K display. Best software, digital signage software, X2O Media with their... Uh, software, best digital yeah. sign media player, bright sign, uh, Q QC five. I'm going to play a video from that. And what's unique about this is those basically this thing has the ability to take, um, multiple inputs and give you multiple outputs. So what it has the ability to do is take a 4k input that can be up to 8k. 
uh, sorry, HDMI input could be up to 8K and output it on four separate output ports so you can spread it across the screen or ver- reverse either. So it'll kind of create a digital canvas out of one image. So you can now take a, di- uh, a large LED and create sort of a digital camera to cross uh, four LED, uh, one LED, or you can actually put it on output on multiple displays simultaneously. Um, it's an 8K resolution output display. So you can put four 4K monitors together and make one large 8K display uh, using four outputs. So there's a lot of applications for this product. Um, going back, the best digital signage kiosk product is the Samsung. I'm going to play that video for you here as we're talking about it. That is a nice design. And what's nice yeah. about this design is they actually did it so that it's universal such that any sort of retailer and uh, and food service company can use it, but they can still customize it to look like their own. Um, right. uh, Steph, did you get a chance to go into the Samsung booth? Not all the way in it. I kind of just like walked around to check it out, but I didn't yeah. get to spend much time inside. Yeah, and so this what this demo here that we have uh, we're showing is they have a they they did it with Gruber, um, which is a software company that does a lot of fast yes. food software companies, but they can use any payment platform. It's small form factor, uh, well designed uh, product out there. Now, okay, I love this next product. This was one that I pushed for best outdoor digital science display. It's a company called Nanov. Okay, who you probably have not heard of. Check this thing out, Steph. This thing is powered yeah. through la- through uh, solar technology. So this is an outdoor digital science kiosk. It has its own uh, solar panels built into it. Great for the transportation. Paper, right? uh, the application here is they're showing where you pay to park kind of stuff uh, or uh, f- um, parking uh, sort of like kiosk kind of application. Um, I was impressed. Little company, you know, yeah. hardly even heard of it. All in, all in one product. Uh, best digital science content company screen feed best cloud based signage product the uh, spinetics aria Aria. Mm -hmm. best digital science product you probably missed is lg's transparent film is all the way down to 14 millimeter now when it started it was 70 millimeter right led per 70 millimeters now it's 14 millimeter and it's color so you should check that out Uh, if you're not already selling that you should be on to the category of UCC. Um, yes. Best wireless collaboration product, Marco ClickShare Conference. That's new. That came out the uh, beginning of last year. And of course, we were in the mm-hmm. pandemic when that happened. Uh, best meeting room product, Logitech Scribe uh, Whiteboard oh, yeah. and Canvas Tide. We had a battle internally because both half of us love the Cl- Hudley Canvas, half love the Scribe. Both the of them scribe. are cameras. Um, Best new collaboration feature, D10Me Inclusive View, which I'm actually going to show you how that actually works here. This this D10Me Pro has a camera built into it with three uh, lenses. So the the people that you're looking at here are standing uh, apart from each other, but sort of like they're sitting sitting around the table. So what it does is it stitches those three people together into three separate stripped images so that if you're on the far site, you're seeing everyone face to face, even though they're sitting at different locations around the table. Does that make sense? So if you're on the far side, instead of seeing a overall view of the people in the table, you're seeing an individual view. So you get their facial expressions. Steph, yes. this is a future. This is a, this is a hybrid solution product out there. What do you think? I absolutely loved it. I actually did get to take a demo of that one myself uh, because they released it at the show. So of course I like hightailed it over there and I was like, all right, let's, let me see how it works. Let me show me how it works. And it was the AI is actually really great um, because I was like bending down, standing on my tiptoes, like looking this way, looking that way. And it was following me really well. So it is still new. And I think that it's mm -hmm, it's still new. So they're going to continue uh, an up close view of everybody. Yes. They're going to continue updating the software because I think they want it to be a little faster in the future and stuff in terms of like following your face around. But it's really great. Here's another way of doing that, which this product won best new hybrid collaboration solution, Panacast uh, 50. Um, I think I have a video of that. I maybe forgot to click on that. Let me uh, do that now. Um, Let me go here and uh, show that video here. Uh, Let me jump ahead. So you'll see us sitting around a table here. I was actually part of this little demo. You'll see that we're all sitting around a table here but we all have our own view, including our camera person who's at the end of the table. So what yeah. happens on the far site, if you're, if you're seeing this on the far site, you're seeing what's on the monitor up front. If you're on the near site, you're live, you're actually seeing people sit around the table. So the nice thing is, again, if you're sitting around a table, you get an individual view of each person in the room. 
And they're doing this with some really cool AI. I mean, think about that, um, to be able to do that, you know, uh, with one camera in the front of the room, there's the camera built into the Panacast 50 is a, is a speaker bar with a built-in camera. So that's a cool product. Um, the Valeria, the Valeria uh, collaboration hub won the best software product, mm -hmm. best video conferencing camera, the Max Hub UCM40. I don't know if you saw this, Steph. I'm going to show that real quick. The UCM40 yeah. is a is a 360 degree camera. It has four cameras built into one little box there. You see that little thing sitting on the table here. Let's see. There you go. Yeah. Um, so you get a 360 degree view of the room. Another way to solve that hybrid meeting uh, room solution issue that we're all running into. Uh, best device management software, Nareva console. Nareva, actually, what's cool about what they've done with consoles, Steph, I don't know if you knew this or not, is obviously it controls all the Nareva products, but also third-party cameras. So if you're using anyone else's camera, it doesn't have to be a Nareva camera, they could also not just control it, but also manage it and allow you to remotely manage it and control it. Best collaboration system, X2O Media One Room. Best collaboration software, or sorry, collaboration device, the Jupiter Pana 34. Uh, best document camera, Adesso CyberAttack 830. Best hot desking workplace solution. I want you to see this, uh, Steph. Love this. I love this. The design of this is really cool. Look, collabor you know, co-working spaces are going to become more and more popular. You want to reserve a specific desk because you like this one desk that you work at in a co-working space. Um, you put these little um, uh, little devices in, on the desk and you your name tag shows up. It also gives you your Wi-Fi password. It also tells you your door password. It also gives you how long you've been there. It also allows you to order food. I mean, like lots of little things from that little screen right there. It's a very neat uh, product. Um, again, a great product for, for integrators to sell to make a little bit more money. Best work from home product, everyone's favorite Logidoc, the Logitech Logidoc product here. Um, I want to show that to you. Um, it's it is a, uh, that little box right there is a speaker phone and a microphone, but also has a hard switch mute button and it has a launch button and the launch button launches your next meeting. It doesn't yes. matter what platform it's on. You hit the launch button, it goes and finds which UC platform your next meeting is on and launches it. Also mute your camera for those people who are obsessed with, with doing stuff like that. And finally, best UCC product you probably missed, the IPEVO Totem. Uh, European company. Uh, that's why they call it Totem there. This thing is kind of cool. Um, it has a, uh, that is a uh, microphone that also has a camera built into it. Good form factor. I actually won a red dot award as well. Um, I like that little product. Oh yeah. Audio products run through those real quick. Best meeting room audio product, Shure MXA 950. Best speaker, Meyer uh, Sound Panther. Best large venue speakers, uh, Alcon Alcon's Audio VR5, best corporate speaker for meeting rooms, KRA Viper, best rental staging product, the FBT Myra speaker system, best rental staging product for live events, adaptive technologies, lock and load rig. Uh, everyone in the rental staging market will love that. It simplifies things. Best audio reinforcement, the Williams IR Plus system, best acoustic panel, snow sound flap. First time we've ever given it to them. Um, uh, we've had uh, the same company win it for many years in a row. Best audio product you probably didn't see, the ADC Acoustic Steerable Speakers. I want to show this video. This doesn't do it justice. Okay. This is a company you probably heard haven't heard of, EDC Acoustics. But they have a speaker there that you see behind him that with that app he has in front of him, he can actually con control the, the zone, uh, the cone that that speaker is going to shoot from 6 degrees all the way up to 180 degrees. Um, which is kind of cool from an app. Uh, so that's a very well done, very simple DSP. Um, yes. On to recording and distribution, best mixer, soft uh, switcher for installs, hall technologies, best up and coming education product, that product, uh, that another company that, that IPTEVO, um, Totem NX360 product, um, st best streaming Roland SR20. We're getting one of those, by the way. Um, yeah. Madeline would be happy to know we ordered one of those. Um, best new HD base T product, C2G's extender wall plate. This is a great little wall plate here. It's an HD base T wall plate that has a USB C and an HDMI port, goes out HD base T, but has a switcher built into it as well. So we have IR control, but we also have switcher control with buttons on the front panel to switch between the two. It's a C2G31011. 
complicated number, but it's an HD based T product. There you go. There's the inputs HD, MI, USB C. Uh, it has an input button. You just scroll through the different inputs. There's four inputs on there, and you can turn the display on and off. So it's like a mini control system. Um, again, that's the best product you probably didn't see. AV, best AV over IP products. The best install went to the Audinate Dante Studio. So they finally have their own uh, video over IP product. Best yep. for live events, Stage Connect live stream software platform. Best AV over oh, yeah. IP control system product, Elmo. Elmo came out with a simple room system, ro simple room control system that is an all-in-one that includes a, a touch panel, but it has a switcher built into it, and it has the ability to control everything from security to IP and, of course, their document cameras and USB cameras, as well as um, PTZ cameras. So it's an all-in-one uh, system, again, aimed as Elmo always has all their products aimed at K-12. through Best overall AV over IP transport system matrix convert IP stuff. This is based on the IPMX platform, which is a, a standard proposed standard for AV over IP. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think of the convert IP product? Did you have a chance to look at it? I'm going to turn on my lights while you answer that question. Um, I saw it a little bit more at ISC than I got to spend time at uh, Infocom, but I did get to learn a lot about it and a lot about the IPMX standard. Um, so I am a fan. I do think it it's a good product, a good line. And they have the most complete uh ecosystem of ipmx that's why we gave it to them and of course the best av over ip accessory aurora multimedia ipx uc1 i had to give that to him because i wrote an article like four or five years ago saying this is a product that doesn't exist that should exist and that ipx uc1 is that product which is basically it creates a digital canvas so you can take whatever inputs you have overlay them and lay them out any way you want on an output so that you can uh, use it in the classroom uh, so yep. kudos to them for building that um, we have like an accessories category, best lighting, KRA, K-scape rail, um, best uh, classroom product balance box, best classroom solution. Cause that's mm -hmm. a full package of the Nareva kit. That is a kit of product that includes the Nareva HDL 300, also includes a camera. It also includes USB hub and also includes a power supply and everything you need to connect it up. The best uh, AV mount product is uh, from Heckler. This product is awesome. I'm going to show this because this is a mount. Check that out. That wall mount credenza actually allows you to mount your equipment inside of it. It doesn't look like a mount, but it is a you know wall mount credenza that, you know, by the way, 21 by 9. Check that out. They're showing the display at 21 by 9, and uh, they're showing it with the Logitech, uh, the Rally Bar series uh, of products out there. So... Anyway, back to the list here. We have um, the best uh, screen, Daylight Sightline. That's the one that has little wires going down, so it looks like the screen is hovering and, and not, doesn't have the black space above it. Best rental staging accessory, the wind-up stand by Coin Meyer. Best furniture product, Gator Frameworks Elite Series Rack Furniture. Best most creative accessory, the C2G 4K dongle ring. I, this is kind of a... Which is like simple, simple but great. Awesome yeah. product, right? One of the products everybody's going to love. There it is right there. If you get an idea, that little dongle ring. This is the kind of thing you put on a podium that has... Where's that adapter? Uh, all the adapters are right here. Uh, Biocoat treated means that you're not going to get sick by touching it. Best Pro AV mobile pro uh, product is the Grib mobile app, which also is the best infield integrator product. This product allows yes. you... To hold an iPad over the floor and tell where all the cables are and which cables are underneath the floor in a wall so that you don't accidentally cut through something. And finally, last product of our best of 2022 series is the uh, best integrator tool, which is a Platinum Tools POE tester, plus plus tester, which allows you to test oh, POE yeah. uh, lines. And we got to go to an ad from our sponsor, uh, Legrand, I want to thank you for that. By the way, Legrand run a few awards here, so they got to be happy. Um, yes. Legrand is our sponsor. Um, they have a brand new product they came out with called the Nexus at Infocom. The Nexus is a um, is a uh, power management series of products, and we're going to end power with distribution. A, showing you the video we shot at Infocom of the Nexus product line, which provides power distribution and power backup in AV systems as part of the Mid-Atlantic product line known as Nexus, S-Y-S. So we're going to go to that video uh, in just a second here.
Hi, it's Chris Lyons at Shure, and we're here at Infocom 20. Hey, Pat Kittredge here with Middle Atlantic Products at Infocom 2022. I'm here to talk about our new Nexus UPS with RackLink. Uh, we launched Nexus here at Infocom. This UPS has our RackLink remote management capabilities. Uh, all of our UPSs in the Nexus line are Energy Star compliant and meet DOE federal uh, regulations for energy energy efficiency. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find more about Nexus and this UPS at www.legrandev.com slash Nexus, N-E-X-S-Y-S. All right, so uh, there is the website for the Nexus product line. Uh, you can check it out, lagrandav.com. It's part of the uh, Mid-Atlantic product line. It's a product called yeah. Nexus. Uh, it's a power management product. And uh, Steph, there you go. There's our 2022 there products for Infocom, best of. Yep, we did a good job. <laughs> now, and I know you've been driving the whole time, so please continue yes. to drive safely. She's been broadcasting okay. while driving. Just kidding. You would never do that. <laughs> no, you? I'm in the back seat, so no one worry. I'm not the one right. driving. <laughs> well, let's say hello to your friends. Moving around, let's say hello to your friends. Can we see your friends? Okay, yeah. This is Carly. Hey, Carly. Say hi, Carly. Hello. And then here's Haley. Hello. Hey. And then Mary Kate's driving. <laughs> I know Haley. So that's my friends. Yeah, you Tell know Haley. Hello. I will. <laughs> All righty. Well, look, Steph, you drive carefully. Thanks for uh, joining us on the road for this episode of Rave TV. We Anytime. come to you every Wednesday. Gary Kay and Steph Beckett every Wednesday at noon Eastern. We try to keep it to half hour today. We went over about seven minutes. Thanks to Madeline for behind the scenes uh, for pulling all this together. And thanks for joining us. We're out of here. Everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. It's the weekly show about pro AV with the hottest news in the AV industry. It's Rave TV.